Video editing, it requires time, and as you know, time is precious. And rule number one is to deal with the raw footage first. You have to remove the silent parts, you have to remove all the retakes, and leave the best of it. And then comes the rest, adding captions, adding animations, adding transitions, adding sound effects, and adding b-rolls. It's a lot. And that's why in this video I'm gonna get hands-on how to cut and see if it can do all these things for me and save me time. So let's not make you wait anymore and get on with it. Now when I have installed a plugin, I will go up to Window, Extensions, and click on How to Cut. And then this panel will jump in front of you. And also you can move this panel all around the program monitor. Then we've got all these features. We've got how to viral clips, how to chapters, b-rolls, how to resize, how to zoom, how to cut repeat, how to profanity filter, how to captions, how to cut podcast, and how to cut silences. And that's the first thing we're gonna start with. So what we've got here is the define section option from where we can select the entire timeline in and out points or selected clip. And also we can select which audio track to detect. In this case, it's only audio track number one. Then I'll click on validate sections, which will take me to the next option, which is pacing. And from here, we've got the default presets that count, measured, paced, energetic, jumpy. And in my case, I will click on measured. Then for the down, we've got silence duration. From here, we can select how many milliseconds you want to be the silence duration. Then we've got the padding. Then we've got silence management. From here, you can choose whether to remove only the silences, keep silences, mute silences, remove silences, but keep spaces. Then we've got eight transitions. From here, we can select J cut, L cut, or both. And from preview, it will show you now which parts of the audio will be deleted. As you can see, we've got green, bright green, red, and a line, noise threshold. So if you hover over the, the preview, you can see which parts will be deleted. In this case, it will be all the red will be deleted and the green parts will be left in the video. And once you have done with this, you can go and click on cut and delete silences, which will give AutoCut permission to start rendering the audio. And once the rendering is done, it will start automatically doing the cuts on the timeline and also at the same time applying the L and the J cut transitions. And because I want to keep your attention so you can keep watching this video until the end, I will speed up this process and come up with the final result. Now, after so much cutting and applying so many transitions, this panel will pop up in front of you and it will show you how long it took the Mighty AI to do all these cuttings and all these transitions. So in my case, it took him 42 seconds to shorten this 12 minute video to seven minute video. And this will save me 36 minutes and four seconds. I would say, wow, that's impressive. But let's not rush into conclusion set and see what it has accomplished. <clears throat> Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to animate the curve lines in Premiere Pro. So let's get on with it. Hello guys, in this tutorial, I will show you how to... Hello people, in this tutorial, I will show you how to animate a curve lines in Premiere Pro. So let's get on with it. And my final thoughts about the auto silence removal. If you play around with the adjustment settings, you can get a really, really good result. And I will grade it as very handy. Because only with the default settings, you can remove a lot of silence parts in your videos and you can save a lot of time. And now let's carry on with the next feature. Now, the second thing I will try is the auto cut repeat. And what this basically do is removing all the retakes that you've done in your video and leave the best parts of it. Again, it will take us to this panel where we've got the defined sections. And from here, I'll select in and out again. And then from the audio track sections, we're gonna keep track audio one and track audio two. And after that, I'll click on define sections. After that, we've got the select language and select algorithm. I'm gonna keep English because I speak English in the video, but from here you can select your language. And then from select algorithm, I'm gonna stay with precise and under it, it's explained in details what the precise does. And then I'm gonna click on generate transcript. Now the transcript is done and we've got the silence manager. Of course, we're gonna keep remove silences and under it, we've got the transcript. And as you can see, we've got the little scissor and a play button. From where, if you press the play button, you can hear what you're saying in this part of the video. And from the scissor, if you click on it, you can remove the parts you don't like. Or if you want to keep them, just click again if they're already removed. I really like this feature and it might help a lot. And also if you want just to remove a word or even a letter, you can highlight the word you want to remove and click on cut or just keep the only word in this sentence. And when you're done with the transcript and you're happy with the result, you can click on cut sequence. And this will start removing all the retakes in your video. And to remove all the retakes in my video, it took AutoCut six seconds to do it. 
But now let's go through the clip and see what it has done. <clears throat> Hello, and in this tutorial, I'll show you how to animate a curve lines in Premiere Pro. Okay, now in Premiere Pro, we have to create a line. Also, I will increase the stroke width to, let's say, 13, so it can be visible. And we've got a little bit smoother, but it's a little bit too fast. So if you want to make the animation slower, you can... Okay, I'll take a repeat. I have some mixed feelings here because I think that it's very useful feature, but it has to be improved because the curves that it has made while removing the parts that I didn't want are not very clean and very smooth. And also some parts of my video that I didn't want to be in it, they still existed. For example, like <coughs> at the beginning of the example I gave you in uh, this video. So yeah, that kind of things are a little bit annoying. And again, it can save you a lot of time. So I would grade it useful. The next feature I will try is the auto captions. I'll click on it. Again, I'll select in and out points. And again, I'll select audio track number one and audio track number two. And then we will take us to this page where we've got the select audio language. It will be English. And then I'm going to click open caption editor. And it's going to create a transcript from the audio where we can edit it and customize it. Now what we've got here, as you can see, it's a little preview. And here we can edit the text from the box. You can choose what are the captions we have a box under it and also you can customize it entirely you can select a color for it i'll leave it as blue and then you can play around with the padding the horizontal and the vertical padding also you can play around with opacity and we can make the corners around it i like it that way also you can go to text outline and from here you can change the outline color and also make it thicker then we're gonna go to text format and from here you can add glow and change it to whatever color you like. Then we can go to transitions. Of course, I'm gonna leave zoom in and zoom out. And also from animation, we're gonna leave it as it is. And last but not least is the font where you can change the font of your text. And when you're ready, you can either apply and save it as a preset or just apply the style. Then you can go to position and size. And from here, you can play around until you find the perfect spot for your captions. And also you can increase the size of it or decrease it and then click on apply style again that is another thing you can do you can just select uh, already pre-made presets and as you can see if you go to the community presets you've got hundreds of them and some of them are pretty good so this will save you a lot of time and once you're ready you can go to transcript and also you can edit the transcript and from here you've got options like to generate emoticons and once you've done playing around with the transcript you can go and click on save now the next thing you have to do is add captions and autoget will start creating the captions and applying them onto the timeline and ready 44 seconds to create the captions and it saved you 38 minutes i don't know how accurate is that but for 44 seconds that's pretty pretty fast what it does it creates a nested layer on the top of your original video where is all the captions and now let's see how the captions look like in premiere pro okay now in premiere pro we have to create a line therefore i will use the pen tool well i don't have much to say about the auto captions because i think that they're pretty good and for me they're perfect it doesn't take too much time and it has a lot of presets that you can use and also the smooth zoom in and blur animation looks amazing it has a lot of customization options and you can create amazing Using captions by using this feature so yeah i'm gonna grade this feature as very very useful and really cool up next is how to zoom it's pretty much the same thing like the other features in our points audio track number two and one define sections and it will take us to the zoom preview from here you can center this little cross where you want the zooms to begin and also you've got these customizations here you can select the presets from calm paste energetic and hyperactive you've got the zoom styles you can leave it as default and also from smooth zooms you can play around from dynamic zooms you can play around as well i'll leave it as it is and then i'll click on apply zooms and to apply all the zooms it took 54 seconds now let's see how good are these zooms at first look they doesn't look good because they're too often too close to each other and i've done it for the whole sequence and these sequences i think it's along four minutes but if you want to just 
put few zooms you can just select in and out points from your video and it will look much much better but what i can say is that these zooms look really really good and it will save you time doing it yourself and now we've got auto zoom again it's a really cool feature but if you apply it to a very long sequence it doesn't look great because the zoom in animations are very close to each other and the transitions are not so smooth but if you have a small in and out section from the video like if you have like two or three zoom ins i think it will do a great great job so i will grade this feature as really good time saver so what's next it's auto resize again in our points audio track one and two validate sections and from here you've got a presets to choose from you've got tiktok shorts and reels you've got youtube full hd and you've got twitter square and once you have selected your preset you can go down to follow subject speed we're going to leave it as normal and if you want to add a watermark which is great great idea you can add your watermark there as well and once you're ready click on resize sequence why well, it took only six seconds to resize that part of my video and in seconds you've got a youtube short or tiktok video and what i think is that it's pretty handy this feature because if you have a long video you can chop the video on a few parts and create youtube shorts or tiktok videos in a second about the auto resize feature i think it's really good it's very easy to use it's straightforward and i think it will save you a lot of time if you have a long videos and you want to convert them into shorts tiktoks or instagram reels so yeah i'm gonna grade it as really really good as well now the next feature is really interesting it's out to bureaus and i was looking forward to test it again it's in and out points audio track number two and number one as you already know validate sections and from here you can select the audio language english and from the bureau's duration the minimum duration i'll leave it two seconds and the maximum duration i'll change it to five seconds i'll click next and this will come up with the bureaus that want to use for your video and as you can see already bureaus over there so you can click on to the edit icon and from here you can select which clip you want to add into your sequence and when you scroll down you will see all the bureaus and also you can add more bureaus if you want and once you're happy with the results click add on bureaus and for five seconds it added these bureaus so let's go through the sequence and see what they look like Okay, to be honest, in my case, it didn't work well. As you can see, the bureaus are not very relevant to my video and I'm not so convinced about this feature. I mean, it could be useful, but I don't think that I will use it. So yeah, I'll leave it up to you. You decide whether to use it or not. Okay, the next feature is out to chapters. I'll do the same as I did with other features and then I'll click on validate sections. I'll select English and generate chapters. Once it has done with generating the chapters, you will see preview of them. And if you're happy with them, you can leave them. And then what you can do, you can click on export chapters to YouTube. And from here, you can save it to your preferred location in your laptop. Then from the marker color, you can select any of these colors. In my case, it's gonna be red and then click add chapters. And this in seconds will add the chapters. In my case, it's two seconds and it's on the timeline. You can see it really, really well. The auto chapter feature, I think it's a really good one if you want to make chapters of your video. And also it's useful if you want to export these chapters to YouTube. So you don't need to do it manually. It's done automatically. I think it's great, uh, great feature, simple, straightforward. I'll grade it as really good as well. Okay, the last feature I want to try is the auto viral clips. So what basically it does, it's highlighting the most interesting parts in your video and then it raises them from the highest to the lowest and this could be very helpful if you have a long video and you want to chop it into small little clips and once it's done highlighting the videos they will show up in a different panels and from there you can choose which one to keep or which one to delete the auto viral clips if you have a long long videos and you want to highlight the best parts of it that's the tool you have to use it's great it saves a lot of time and yeah it's just amazing too and also you can cut these highlighted clips into shorts with the auto resize feature and boom voila from one video you can make 10 or 20 it depends from the length of your video and i would grade it as really really cool feature and now i'm going to give you my honest opinion about this plugin in general i think it's a great plugin but there is two negative things that i didn't like about it the first one is the smaller one is the bureau feature i don't like it and i won't use it i think it's useless sorry how to cut but yeah personally i will never use it the second negative thing which is the bigger negative thing is that you cannot pin the plugins panel in premiere pro unlike a similar plugins to this one 
one. For me, it's very annoying because it's on your way. And if you have a limited space on your screen, it's, yeah, it's very annoying. You can move around the screen, but it's, it's always on your way. Also, you can hide it, but that's not the point because I would like to have the plugin I'm using in front of my eyes so I can see what I'm using. And yeah, for me, that's the bigger negative about this plugin. And yeah, AutoCAD, you can work on it and make this plugin perfect if you improve these two things. So I guess if you want to try it yourself, I will leave a link in the description down below so you can go download it and play around with it and then decide whether you want it or not. I really appreciate the time you spent to watch this video and I'll be very thankful if you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you in the next one.